everybody welcome back to another episode of my star sign legacy challenge so today i am super excited because we are in mount komarebi and it is the little twin girls birthday today they both are so stinky and farty all the time i literally cannot wait for them to age up into children so we don't have to deal with their little stinky diapers anymore but they're just outside this morning um yuki's doing some like cards with maple honey is a little bit jealous she wants to be playing as well but I just had them out here posing from the thumbnail um, of last time. But coming in today, it is bright and early this morning. Um, I'm pretty sure we had Dallas and Yuki do woohoo in the last episode. So I'm just going to get Dallas to come and take a pregnancy test just to make sure she's not pregnant. I'm not ready for another baby right now or at all. <laughs> and then I'm also going to get her to start preparing some breakfast for everyone. And since it's Harvest Fest, we'll do a grand breakfast this morning. All right, she's taken a pregnancy test. I think it's probably negative. Yeah, there we go. I am. Um, oh, wait, is she sad about it? Oh. <gasps> Oh no, I think she probably wanted a child. It said fail to conceive. Sometimes it could be harder to expand a family than hoped for. Well, you, you weren't trying for a baby, Dallas, so try not to be too sad about that. Honestly, I might remove this because she just was woohooing. She wasn't trying for a baby. To be honest, if she is wanting to have another kid, like it's something we can, we can think about maybe. First, I want to get these toddlers aged off into children. <laughs> Okay, so Dallas at the moment is just cooking some breakfast for everyone. And then once we've had some breakfast, I kind of want to head up to the slopes and just have a little bit of family fun. We'll invite Rain and Kiyoshi along as well. And then we'll head back to their house for like uh, lunch, dinner, um, and we can age these tods up into children. And then head over to the Festival of Light in the evening, which I'm really excited for. So we have a very, very build day ahead of us so I want to get these guys on the grind like pretty much straight away um so while Dallas is cooking her food I'm just gonna make sure everyone's needs are the best they can be hey breakfast to serve cool to grab me on oh Dallas are you sick oh my gosh she's not feeling very well happy brekkie though I wonder if I have any medication in our inventory <laughs> we do okay everyone's coming in and grabbing themselves a plate of food and hopefully we'll all come sit down and have something oh these two saddie pusses it's a good day it's your children's birthday i wish they'd be a little bit happier okay it looks like dallas is feeling a lot better she's just had some medicine i'm hoping that that's going to cure it yeah dallas has taken medicine and successfully combated her cold i'm glad okay is everyone else feeling good seems like it Okay, perfect. I think it's time for us to head over to the slopes now. I've just literally come over here and Kiyoshi has come to the slopes on his own accord. I didn't invite him here. He was just here. So I'm going to add him to our group. Let's uh, form a group and with everyone in it. And then once Rain arrives, we'll add her as well. But oh my gosh, I didn't had no idea he had come here. So I'm going to get her to do some sledding with one of the Todds. Um, we'll just do it with Maple. And then Dallas can come over and do it with Honey over here and I'm excited to see them on the slopes it's like not often that we come here with like toddlers so I'm excited oh hello darling hey darling it's your first time in the snow hopefully they're dressed appropriately I don't know if I should change their outfits or not um <laughs> I think these fits are actually super cute but I feel like this is the only outfit we've seen them in since they aged up so once they get over to grandma and grandpa's house I will change them into like a formal outfit maybe but are we going sledding or are we just standing around ready to go sledding honey come on darling oh I think she's excited okay Dallas is picking her up she does have a stinky diaper but we'll just ignore that for now hopefully they'll get on the sled they keep canceling the actions getting in line at the bunny slope okay come on okay <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at them on their little sled. I don't know why Dallas is wearing such a crazy skirt for, but look at us going down. Oh, there they go, this way. Oh, and we didn't tussle or anything. We did pretty good. I'm thinking I might change Dallas into some pants because I don't know why she's like, would be skiing in a in a dress. Um, <laughs> Surely she has some other winter clothes. Yeah, look, you can wear this. You wear your little like jean outfit. Oh, and honey's crying. My poor little sweet bean. She's so sad. Is this Yuki over here? Oh my god, Yuki also wearing a skirt? I don't know what's wrong with these ladies. All of Yuki's outfits are skirts. This one's probably the coziest, most acceptable option, to be honest. But look, here comes Yuki and Maple. Coming down on the slope. And they didn't crash either. Oh, I'm so happy for them. I think they probably take it easy when it comes to Todd's. Oh, the little jump is so precious. Hey, Maple, you ready to go again? 
There goes honey. Wanna go again? Did you enjoy that? She loved it. She's like, mom, let's go again. I'm so excited. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. Probably won't sleep for too much longer because uh, for some reason it's already past midday. I don't know how this keeps happening. Like the days just leave so quickly. Um, and we desperately need to use the toilet, to be honest. So why don't you go to the toilet then? Yeah, I might get these guys to stop and, like, build a snowman together or something. We'll just do, like, maybe one more turn down here. Because Dallas does need to use the toilet. There they go. Oh, wow. <gasps> Oof. I was worried that time that they were going to fall, but it seems like they made it. And here comes Yuki and Maple. Oh, Honey and Dallas just became good friends. That's so cute. All right, Maple, it's our turn to go down. You ready? Let's go. We're definitely taking things a little bit more easy. Yeah. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh, no. We picked the easier option out, but it ended in failure because, oh my gosh, look at this little tide. Look at her go. Are you okay? Oh, you poor thing. My little sweetness. Oh, she got a little sentiment there. Oh, she's like, oh, she's a tough girl. She's like, I love destruction. That was a piece of cake. Okay, you guys have to stop doing this now. Um, Dallas, I think is... Come on, Dallas, you gonna go to the bathroom? Okay, she's going to the toilet. I'm gonna get Yuki to come over and make a snow pal with some of the girls. Hopefully they can join in. So, sprilled snow pal with um, the twin. Oh no, you can only pick one twin? I don't know who I picked either. Yeah, I got no idea who I even picked, but whatever. Oh, Kyo, she's leaving. Bye, Kyo. Bye, Dad. Um, We'll come over and visit you guys probably in the next hour. I just want to... Finish up with the snow pals over here. Um, oh my gosh, Maple absolutely just trashing the place. Sounds good. Okay, building a snow pal. Here comes. What are you doing? Build. Oh, Maple's joining in. I thought it was Honey that was building it with us, but I guess not. Hey, okay, cutie. Oh, you like it? Are you helping your mom? <laughs> oh, she's the sweetest. I freaking love these Todds. Look at you, girl, little jumpy pants. Hey, okay, we're almost done here. Oh, she's exhausted. All right, well, why don't you quickly come back home and then you can have a little sleep in the bed. Go for sleepies. Um, and oh my gosh, we're all so tired. Okay, let's have a quick nap and then in, I'll wake these guys up in about an hour and we can head over to Rain and Kyoshi's house for dinner. <gasps> oh my gosh, Dallas's final grades are in and she got an A minus, which means she's finished her university degree. <gasps> No way! Graduating tomorrow. It's been quite a journey. Dallas graduation ceremony at, from Fox Ferry is tomorrow. Time to celebrate. Um, Spice Festival. Sorry, Grandma. We're in Mount Comoroby. <gasps> I'm so happy for her. Okay, I'm gonna get these guys up. I think I'm just gonna cheat up the like the energy just a little bit because they're all really really tired. And then I'm gonna get them to travel over to Yuki's parents' house because the Festival of Lights just started. So I don't really want to miss it. So yeah, let's go. Oof, the weather is not that great over here, but it's all right. We'll just have to go inside. All right, everybody in. Okay, and I'm gonna get started on dinner straight away since it is Harvest Fest today. Um, I'm gonna do a grand meal of a, I don't know, cause it's also a Makomarabi, so I just don't feel like they would probably like be eating a grand meal. Maybe I'll skip on dinner and go straight to making the cakes for um, the birthday party because they'll probably fill up on that. Plus we've already made a grand meal so we don't really need to do it for Harvest Fest anymore. So instead, let's go ahead and make a birthday cake for these guys. I was going to do a honey cake for their birthday but I still don't have any honey. So I guess instead, um, I might do a, a blue confetti cake this time. See how they go with that. Oh my gosh, you guys are stinky central. Alice is on diaper duty because I want the babies <laughs> to feel good before um, they age up. So where's Maple? I'm sure she has a stinky diaper too. Oh no, she doesn't surprisingly, but if she does, I might get her to just like bath time with rain maybe. Okay, it's already stopped raining and it's sunny now. <gasps> okay, the Festival of Light is starting to come together. There are some people here. Um, we can go ahead and buy... I wonder if Yuki still like has to buy it from the vending machine. I like youth castle or whether she has one because she bought one as a kid remember oh sorry i meant her kimono yeah so she can come and just like wear her festival kimono but we'll we'll get the birthday parties out of the way first before we head over to the festival of light waiting on the cake to be done she looks so cute i love this outfit on her she looks so pretty oh mums oh mumsy yuki cake is done i'm gonna come put it on the table over here here we go and we don't you dare eat it I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up. <laughs> I was so worried someone <laughs> was gonna come get a piece of it. 
Oh my gosh, like the twins' birthday when they aged up as infants. That was a oh my god, I was so mad. Okay, candles are on the cake, which means it's time for babies to age up. So I'm going to get some help to blow out the candles. And I think I'm gonna get Kiyoshi to help Maple because they're like little besties. Maple is the firstborn as well, so she'll go first. Hey, we're coming over. <gasps> All right, here we go. Happy birthday, Maple. <laughs> Aw, oh, cutie. Good job, dear. I have birthday candles. And is she gonna grow age up? She is. All right, here she comes. Our first child in the house. Oh my gosh, I can already see her little preview picture. Oops. All right, I'm just gonna really pull up the rules for the star sign and see what traits they need to have as children. Okay, so generation three, Gemini. Traits, genius, outgoing, and non-committal. So which one am I going to see first? Um, outgoing and oh, what's this? A multi-skill. <gasps> oh, are these like the new, oh, there's new, um, trait. Uh, what is this? Like aspirations for kids. Okay. So what do we got? We got some of a party animal. This sim wants to have the life of the party. Probably not. Captain playtime, creative genius and mind and body. I think we'll do mind and body for Maple because she's outgoing. I don't know. That makes sense but she did pretty well with all of her skills um and then i'm going to get honey to come blow out her candles now as well and come on kiyoshi come grab the other oh, second baby she's in here rain's like hello you already aged her up what do you want me to do all right here comes rain with honey and she's gonna help her blow out her candles so happy birthday my little honey bear you're so cute all right let's see what she gets come on aggressive toddler time for you to grow out of it and be a child <laughs> Okay, so again, it's genius, non-committal, and outgoing. I think we maybe be only have the outgoing trait. I kind of want to give them the same one so we don't like have too much of a difference between them. Um, but I'm going to give her the creative genius this time just to see like what the aspirations are like. I don't usually complete the... Um, aspirations for kids anyway so it's not really a huge deal which one we give them but i do want to look at them so yeah let me give these guys a quick makeover and then i'll be back okay and here we are we have some children so this is little honey i actually had to change her hair like twice because <laughs> the one that i kept putting on her kept breaking so i hope you like what she looks like i don't know where she's heading to you see her sister maple who's over here talking to yuki so this is little Maple. I hope you like what she looks like too. These guys are certainly identical, but I don't know if they have the same face shape. It's the only thing that I'm like, might be a little bit different, but to be honest, it could just be the hair I put them in making them look like they don't. But either way, they're stinking cute and I'm really excited to see what they look like all grown up. Look at them. Oh my gosh, little attitude girl, adorable. <laughs> okay, so let's come get some cake, guys. We have blown out our candles so everyone can come and grab some birthday cake. Um, Do you wanna call to, oh, sneak a taste, actually. I reckon both of them would probably sneak a taste. Hey, right, Maple, are you coming over? Here she comes. She's like, ah, ha ha ha, taking a little taste. Very nice. You wanna come sneak one too, honey? Hey, it's honey. Sneaking a little taste. Very cute. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have little Maple over here. She's talking to Dallas, but I think it's time for these guys to get over to the Festival of Light since it's getting a little bit dark now. It's 11 o'clock at night. I don't know how it became 11 o'clock at night, but oh my gosh, you guys. Look at these lanterns. Excuse me? Who said they could be this pretty? It's so pretty. Do they move in the water? <gasps> they do. Where is our festival at? Right over here. Okay, guys, come grab yourself some festival kimonos and some food. Um, I'm going to get everyone to pop one on. And we can all come grab ourselves some food for over here. So, oh my gosh. <gasps> There's so much yummy, yummy food. Okay. I can they can all get something each to be honest and Yuki's been paid for a day off thank goodness making money <laughs> paying off our vacation <laughs> all right here they come <gasps> look at them all they're so cute our little girls I love how they like kind of they're wearing the same kimono as well it's so cute okay so Dallas she ended up getting the vanilla one and then the strawberry one for maple there we go she's popped her little outfit on her little kimono matcha one for um Honey, and then Yuki got the bean one because it's orange. Can I look at them from in here? Look at, <laughs> look at them eating it. They're so cute. 
Oh, not the ugly lipstick. Yuki, what the heck? No! Oh my god, I, I cannot stand when they have stupid accessories on. Take the hat off, Dallas. I cannot be... <laughs> she has like this ginormous hat on and I'm really trying to celebrate the festival. I'm already dealing with Yuki wearing ugly makeup. I don't really know how to take it off her, so I guess she's just gonna wear a hat then. Okay. Come on, you guys. Let's come and dance together over at the fire. Let's see if Kyoshi and Rain will make their way out too. <laughs> Okay, the festival's gonna end in one hour. What? We barely got to experience it. I'm so sad. Okay, Maple is knows what's up. She's getting her groove on. That was Dallas. These two are like, <laughs> they're so cute. Honey definitely has a bit of a, a sassy walk going on, if you ask me. Like, look at the way she's walking over here. Oh, there we go. Fire's getting hot. Oh my god. These sims have to stop screaming at each other. Jeez. What's going on, honey? What are you talking about? You're gonna come and dance with your little sister, big sister, identical twin sister. Oh, we can be thankful to her. Go on. Being thankful to her sister. Oh, she reached level three of like communication, and we can give them a hug. Oh, happy birthday, my little twin. Oh my gosh, it feels so crazy now that they're like actually kids. Like what? How interesting. Maple really enjoyed hearing Honey talk about her interests just now. It can be enduring when another sim gushes about something they're passionate about. Would you say that Maple likes discussing interests? Yes, that's nice Maple. You're a good sister to listen to your sister. Oh no, and the fire has disappeared. That's really really sad. Okay, I guess I'll send these guys home then. I thought that this uh, festival would like, I didn't think it was that late, but it was I guess. Yuki's gonna give Maple a family kiss. Here, little kiss on the cheek. And we'll give one to Honey as well. Of course we will. <laughs> hey honey, you're not gonna miss out. Yeah, <laughs> little smoochie. All right, girls, let's head back home. Say goodbye to your grandparents. It's our last night on vacation and we're heading back home tomorrow, so you gotta get some sleep, both of you. Oh, back home, thank goodness. We're so, so tired. Time for us to go to bed. So I'm gonna get everyone to like literally just get like so much sleep tonight because I don't know what time we're getting kicked out in the morning and I still kind of want to be able to hit the slopes before we get kicked out. Um, since we don't have any more children beds for the girls, I'm just gonna get them to share this double bed over here tonight. And then yeah, hopefully we'll have enough time in the morning to spend a little bit more time in Matt Komarevi. But if not, I guess we'll be heading home. All right, so I'm gonna wake everybody up now. It's around seven o'clock in the morning. And to be honest, all of our needs are feeling pretty good. Confident, believe in me, the most important person believes in herself. Honey, okay, that's nice. Let's head over to the slopes day two. I wanna see the kids like on the little snowboards and stuff. So I'm just gonna go, ooh, snowboarding or skiing? I kind of want to see the skiing from the girls because I like I feel like I've seen snowboarding from rain so much that yeah I want to see them do some skiing so let's come do some skiing everybody can do skiing to be honest all right let's go guys time to hit the slopes oh we have four hours <laughs> okay we're gonna be cutting it close <laughs> all right who is gonna get up here first Dallas all right Dallas you ready let's do some skiing Wee! <laughs> she's so cute I wonder if the other girls are going too. Oh, here comes Honey. She's going down. Oh, oh, she didn't stack. Good job, Honey. Maple, whose hair is turned to um brown or orange, has. Ooh. Oh no! She lost a two. Oh no! I'm gonna have to change her hair back. I don't know why it's turned to like a um auburn, like orangey color. But yeah, she's lost a two. Oh my gosh. That makes me nervous. I don't want her to lose teeth. Hopefully she'll be alright. I think that she can put a tooth under a pillow and the tooth fairy will come maybe. I haven't actually explored with the tooth fairy um, part of the like growing together pack at all. So that's exciting. And how's Yuki going? Oh, she's going to come back up. I didn't even get to catch her doing it. Honey lost her loose tooth. She can now wait for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix a missing tooth. <gasps> Honey also lost a tooth. What are you doing in here? Oh my gosh, these girls have to be more careful because they're losing tooth teeth left, right, and center. But Dallas actually has her graduation ceremony in less than an hour. So I reckon we're gonna get kicked out of here once the ceremony starts. So hopefully we'll still get enough time to get a little bit of snowboarding in. Let's see her ski again. She loves this one with a little bunny jump. She's actually pretty good at this. Do you have a skill for it? I don't think so. Comes Yuki. Ooh. 
Considering your mom was constantly on the sledge, you're not very good at it, Yuki. Oh, I stacked it. Oh, Maple, you gotta be more careful, babe. He wants to shout for bitten words. Okay, Maple, oh, her hair is now changed to blonde. I might have to give her a different hairstyle because she's just changing her hair constantly. Maybe she'll go down one more time and we'll see. Okay, so the graduation ceremony is about to happen. Um, would you like to attend the ceremony? Yeah, I want to go. Let's go. <gasps> Dallas! Oh my gosh, you look so beautiful. Happy graduation day, Dallas. Are you excited? I think she must be. Hey, where's she heading? Oh, talk to some friends. This must be one of the friends she made at university. Hi, are you excited to graduate today, guys? Oh my gosh, I'm literally so happy for her. She looks so cute. Another friend. Cool spirit day is happening at the campus. Stop by and join the cheer. No, thank you. Oh my god, I'm gonna have like 100 notifications for this, Anna. Yeah. Play those. All right, you guys ready to graduate? Let's go in. Attend graduation. Oh, they're all doing like the fox spray cheer right now? Like, why are they cheering? The lobster's here. Take spray with stink spray. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? And take a selfie with the mascot? Oh, she's like spraying him. She's playing a prank. Oh, <laughs> Dallas. Okay, she's in the ceremony now. Let's wait for her to finish. Yay! Happy graduation. Oh my gosh, I totally missed her throwing her cap, but good job. Happy graduation, Dallas. I hope you're excited for the next part of your journey. Um, she's gonna start dancing in a moment apparently. But I'm gonna go ahead and send her back home. Um, we're actually back at Rendleton Bay now in our house, so no more Mount Comorby vacation. But it was so nice to travel there and celebrate the twins' birthdays with our parents. And I had so much fun. Alright, we're back home now. Oh my gosh, Rain is here. Let's pretend she's not because I just travel like that across the globe. <gasps> Oh my god, it feels so weird having children here now. Like, I was like, oh, the toddler's on the couch. No, there's no toddler. It's a child. It's a real life child. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna have to quickly give these babies um, some bigger beds. Oh, but I can't because Cleo is sleeping up. Maple, do you wanna come up and like maybe come pet the cat calmly? Might help you calm down, get the cat off the bed, and then I can give you guys a bit of an updated bedroom. Oh, her hair's changed back to normal too. Cleo. She wants to bat him, but he's on the bed. <gasps> Give me Cleo. Come on, kitty. Oh, you goes to work in an hour. Okay. Oh, she's so mad. Okay, I guess we're just going to be changing the beds in here. <laughs> okay, so I've given both of the girls beds now. I'm not sure if I'm going to move one of them into the other room or just keep them both in the same room. To be honest, I was like, kind of thinking this room is a little bit bigger, so it might fit them a bit better. But because of the curved wall, I just don't know how the furniture is going to play. So this is just a current work in progress but it may change um i didn't think they needed two desks at this stage since they're just doing like homework and stuff so i've given them one desk in their room to share plus uh beds so can we place tooth under the pillow of each of these beds and i want to see them like put their little tooth under there come on guys honey's just popped her tooth under the bed and now she's going to sleep and here comes maple don't mind their um, outfits. I haven't given them outfits yet for every single category, but are they going to bed now? Okay, so I think that they're just gonna sleep because they've put their tooth under the bed. No, you can go to work. It's time to go to bed. If you're lucky when you wake up, you'll have a nice surprise from the tooth fairy waiting for you in your inventory. Okay, interesting. And since Dallas has now graduated, I'm gonna get her finally to put, get herself a job in the culinary career been working towards this for the longest time and now it's finally time for her to get herself a job here we go and in, she's not going to be a food critic she wants to be a isn't it oh chef yeah <gasps> head chef here we go oh my goodness okay so due to her degree in this field dallas has been awarded a signing bonus of a thousand simoleons and she's entered the chef career she's now at level six of the chef career oh my gosh so she started the same level that yuki is now are they making the same amount of money per hour but dallas is making more i don't understand why she'd be making more i guess it's like because of a bonus of university anyway that's interesting good for you dallas um so now she's in the chef career she's a head caterer yuki is a also a head caterer but getting paid less probably because she works at a different different like job like a different company but I'm really excited because now that Dallas has gotten herself a job in the same career as Yuki these guys can technically officially get married and it's kind of the perfect time for them to also get married because I really wanted to wait till the kids were kids so they could like properly 
join in in the ceremony and they can like dance and everything which i'm very excited for so probably not in the next next episode but the one after that would probably have a wedding and then after that i think i'm gonna get yuki to go ahead and quit her job i am trying to save up to around 20,000 simoleons before i get her to quit her job the minimum that i want her to have before i quit her job is probably 10 to 12,000. um but we'll just see how we go because obviously i have to get her to quit at some point or i have to get her to open up her own little bakery at some point but she's just working for now having a good time i want to wait to see what's going to happen when these kids age up regarding the tooth fairy so i'm just going to wait for that but i'm going to get dallas to take these dogs on a quick walk since she is the one that's up and awake okay, i'm just going to wake up these girls now all right so it has <laughs> you lost a practice tooth remember to take care of your real ones too many sweets can cause the death of your teeth. Oh, cute. Okay, and they got a couple things from their inventory. So we got a Tooth Fairy certificate, which I guess I'll put... Oh, that's not the right thing. I guess I'll put on the wall over here. And we also got a Tooth Fairy poster. Ayo. Oh, it's kind of... It's cute, but I don't know where to put it. And then, Maple, did you get the same stuff? She got her Tooth Fairy certificate, which I'll put next to her bed and then she's gotten a tooth fairy sticker okay <laughs> i'll put that there i suppose cute our house is like really coming together with like cute like lots of nice decor and stuff and they have a little confident moodlet saying a gift from the tooth fairy could take the sting out of a lost tooth <gasps> Look at you guys. Do you want to get your homework done before you have school? And oh my gosh, they're just so freaking cute. I love them so much. Look at the little darlings. Alrighty, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Before the next episode, these little girls will have a proper makeover. I may change Maple's hair because it kept changing color, but I guess we'll just wait and see. Um, what I decided to do, but I hope you like their little grown-up appearances and think they're looking super super cute So far, I reckon they look so much like Dallas like I don't I can't even see What looks like Yuki maybe the lips look like Yuki. I don't even know but um, Also the noses. I think they have Yuki's nose, but they have like they have like Dallas's like face shape eye shape uh, skin color skin like hair color like everything like it's absolutely crazy So I'm excited to see what they look like when they get older, but I hope you like their little child appearances um if you enjoyed this episode please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye